Time literally has no meaning anymore. Spring is just around the corner and I wanted to make a spring dress. So we're going to be using Boutrick B4790 Retro from 1952, size 16, because it's close enough. I'm doing dress B. Very springy and 100% cotton, so it's got no stretch at all. It's gonna be cute. And so without any further ado, let's get to sewing. Fauna has been the absolute best helper during my sewing adventures. She tells me when I'm doing things wrong, like here. I'm supposed to have the fabric right sides facing together and she was just trying to tell me. Big shout out to my mom for getting me a rotary cutter and this cutting mat for Christmas. Thank you so much. As you can see, right before your very eyes, we had a travesty. Not enough fabric for the skirt piece. Minor meltdown. Here, I got a bit carried away and cut out a random piece of fabric. I did this before even thinking about how I was going to piece these two pieces of fabric together. And I then spent a good chunk of time trying to rectify my mistake. But I at least had a lot of moral support there with me. So sure I deserved that. I think she knows what I was trying to do. I definitely deserved that second one though. During this period of time, Fauna was very angry because Matt had the door to his office closed and she did not want to let me do absolutely anything. As you saw, I didn't have enough fabric to finish that last skirt piece. And I could have made the skirt just shorter all around, but I wanted it to have the length that it's supposed to have so it could have a 50 style. So I'm kind of Frankensteining some pieces of cloth together. I am very confused though because I bought the right amount of yardage of fabric. So I'm kind of confused at how I didn't have enough space. Knows. stuff happens so I did it wrong I'm so close I was like <laughs> I just sewed this one hopefully that'll work and I'll just seam rip this one oh So far, my efforts to protect Fauna from the pins has been successful, despite her best efforts. It 
was time for the darts. And I had never done darts before, so this was very exciting. I have nothing to report about darts, except that I did them. And a lot more darts on the front piece. Then I got to work on pinning the back bodice piece to the back skirt piece. I found this process to be very satisfying. I connected the bodice pieces together at the shoulder seam. And then I was finally able to try on the garment and see the silhouette. I didn't like some parts of the silhouette, so I traced out where I wanted to cut. I have to be honest, this part made me quite nervous. So nervous, in fact, that I totally forgot I had a rotary cutter until the very end of altering it. Progress update. I'm going to hem it, finish up the edges a bit, and then I'll think about putting the bias tape on. Allow the dress to hang before hemming for 24 hours. Not only do I not know what that means, but I'm also not gonna do it. Right, Connor? The work stops when Fauna says it stops. There is always time to play with buttons. This is when things really started to come together. It was still a bit baggy in some places, but that didn't stop me from jumping around like a goblin. I'm in a good spot. I have done the edging on most of it. But I do have the armholes to do, but I think I have to make a couple of adjustments just so that it fits better. Um, I adjusted the neckline a bit, but I think I am gonna tack this down just so that it's like a bit more stiff. Right now it's a little floppy. Let's see how it fits. So this goes around the back. I can't be bothered to find my safety pins, so. I'm gonna use this. You can kind of see already that 
it's a little baggy right here and then this will button together for right now we'll just duct tape it this is the dress almost completed but not quite yet so i'm going to change a couple things about this so that it fits me a little bit better all i have to do is do the bias on the armholes and then add the snaps and the buttons so let's go do that but first let's go on an excursion with fauna look at those feet how glorious It's a daily ritual of ours to go outside on the porch for at least 10 minutes each day, no matter how cold it is. I pinned the shoulder seams so that they would have a little bit more of an angle to them and took in some of the stomach darts on either side to make it fit a bit better. The shoulder seams that I had made were far too steep. booby dart a little bit bigger to take in some stuff on the sides and then I took the very edge and just created a better shape so it lays better against my body and now it's just time for the bias tape. I just want to take a moment of appreciation for how beautiful and glossy these new leaves on my fiddle leaf fig tree are just gorgeous. Wow. Bias tape time and I had Fauna there again for some emotional support. I definitely deserved that one. The way that I pulled her on that fabric was just downright disrespectful. Going outside, always make sure that the coast is clear before you do anything embarrassing. Another sewing project under my belt. I think I did a pretty good job at altering it to fit my body a little bit better and I think it's gonna be one of my favorite ones to wear this spring. The only problem, the main problem I have, let's see if I can do this without flashing everybody, is 
the snaps in the back like easily get unsnapped so I have to snap them back up I feel like a button would do a little bit better in the back and this called for something else right here too but I ended up just putting one button because I thought that looked the cutest I really like the way it wraps around my body I probably could have taken the back in a bit more right here at these seams to fit me even a little bit better So I've learned a lot from this project. I've learned that it's super tiring to sew. I already knew this, but I was going to try to get this video out in a week and boy did I overestimate my abilities to get things done quickly because there was a lot to do, my body wasn't having it, there was a lot of trials and tribulations. Um, we didn't have enough fabric at one point, but we made that work. That ended up being fine. I've actually never seen a dress quite like this before. I'm so tired. If you'd like to hang around, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload, because otherwise YouTube won't tell you. Like this video so that the algorithm can pick me up and I can become a superstar. Thank you so much. I have like a million and one ideas. Let me know what you like to see me do next. I just wanna go play Persona now. I'm gonna go celebrate this victory by playing Persona 5 Royale and going into a different reality.